Welcome to Grade 8 TLE Quarter 1, Lesson 3. Our topic for today is Graphics Design Principles. Introductions to Graphic Design Graphic Design is the process or practice of combining text and images in a visually appealing way to communicate a message. We have core elements in Graphic Design. First, the dot, line, shapes, form, tone, texture, images texture which is the environmental texture, biological or man-made texture. Pattern texture is also generated from organic or geometric shapes and color, though pattern texture is mainly manufactured. Colors, text, and serif and sans serif are characterized by small decorative lines or strokes that are added to the ends of characters, known as serifs. Next, the principles of design. Principles of designs are guidelines that help designers organize and arrange the elements of design in a harmonious and effective manner. We have a symmetric balance and a symmetric balance. Balance is a visual weight of objects, texture, color, and shape is evenly distributed on the screen, while hierarchy establishes the order of importance within a design, guiding the viewer's attention to the most critical elements first. Emphasis Area in the designs that may appear different size, texture, shape, or color to attract the viewer's attention. While contrast, it refers to placing two opposite elements together, this most often refers to a contrast in values. Movement means guiding the user's eye to predetermined path in a composition. While repetition, these are the repeating visual elements on an image or layout to create unity. Rhythm is the visual tempo of combination of elements when used repeatedly and with variation. It gives the feeling of organized movement. Proximity refers to the grouping of related elements together, creating visual relationships and organizing information in a clear and intuitive manner. To create connections, proximity can create relationship between visual elements in a composition create relevance, hierarchy, create organization and structure. To dispel connections, can also be used to suggest no relationship between elements, to break organization and structure. Unity and variety refers to the harmonious integration of all elements in a design, creating a cohesive, pleasing composition. Next, the working with color. We have color wheel category, which is the primary colors, the red, yellow, and blue, while the secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. The tertiary colors are yellow-orange, red-orange, red-purple, blue-purple, blue-green, and yellow-green. Warm colors are red, orange, and yellow, while the cool, cool colors green, blue, purple. Neutral colors are gray, black, white, brown, and beige. And analogous colors that are adjacent to each other on the color wheel, such as red, orange, and yellow. Complementary colors that are opposite each other in the color wheel, such as red and green, blue and orange, and yellow and purple. The split complementary colors is made up of a base color and two color adjacents to its complement on the color wheel, forming a white shape such as purple, yellow green, and yellow orange. The double complementary colors made up of two analogous colors and their complements in the color wheel. The yellow-green, yellow-orange, and red-violet and blue-violet are examples of this color scheme. Triadic colors. Three colors that are equally spaced apart on the color wheel, such as red, yellow, and blue. Monochromatic colors are variation of a single color, such as light blue, medium blue, and a dark blue. These are the example of analogous, example of triadic color scheme, and the example of monochromatic colors. 
Saturation is how pure that the UV is full of saturation means that the pure base hue is used. The lightness or the brightness is the amount of white or black mixed in with the color. Creating a color palette. Base color, lightness, and neutral color. Next, the typography. Typography is all around us, from the books we read, to the websites we visit, and even in everyday items like street signs and product packaging. Font versus typeface. Font refers to format or storage mechanism, and typeface is the name of the design is full style or font family. The anatomy of type. We have the aperture, the ascender, baseline, bow, cup height, counter. Crossbar, descender, dot, I, finial, and ligature. Lowercase, shoulder, spine. Stem, serif, and small capital. Stroke, terminal, uppercase. X height and weight. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.